favorite cartoon, SpongeBob SquarePants. Hey, that's no fair. I don't got none of them. Well, another year the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards has come and gone. But this year has been particularly interesting for a few reasons. For one thing, for the first time ever, it's actually hosted by cartoon characters. Yep, this year, SpongeBob SquarePants and Patrick Starr hosted the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. Well, it's not the Muppets hosting the Oscars, but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> and secondly, instead of the KCA this year taking place in March or April as usual, it was smack dab in the middle of July. Which is kind of surprising when I first heard about it, but, you know, conveniently, it was on the same day as Tom Kenny's birthday. And now we all know the reason. It's to celebrate SpongeBob's birthday. Yep, as you all know, this year marks the 25th anniversary of SpongeBob SquarePants. So, Nickelodeon's been throwing a big celebration for the little square dude. And unsurprisingly, SpongeBob has one favorite cartoon for the umpteenth time in a row. You think that since SpongeBob and Patrick are hosting the KCA, that means that they would give the other cartoons a chance to win, right? <laughs> Wrong! I'm not surprised, but I'm not upset about it either. Cause you know what? SpongeBob deserves it. Cause for 25 years, a whole quarter of his century, SpongeBob has been making us all laugh and smile, and he's proven himself to be timeless. Which is why I still stand by the fact that Spongebob should get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And I don't mean a pink star who's double kicked up on a Tuesday. <laughs> but a real star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, okay? He deserves it. If Rugrats could get a star, if Godzilla can get a star, if Mickey Mouse could get a star, then so can Spongebob. And, yeah, I can have a fucking star already. <laughs> but, yeah, happy 25th anniversary, Spongebob. And, as Spongebob himself would put it, <laughs> Man, I love that guy.